Transmission begins. Five, four, three, two, one. And, uh, it's fantastic to see so many of you. Uh, anyone thinks this is a good idea with startup beer in Mama? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah! Do you want to get this more times here? Yeah. yeah! Good. So this is just the beginning. And um, I think I want to start with uh, ask. Uh, so we have on stage uh, Joel Larson from uh, Mama Startup. Uh, we have Veronica Bertosz from uh, Naked Set. My name is almost right. Almost right. Okay, spelled with a K. And an A. And an A. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have uh, Sebastian from uh, Userbin, a startup in Alma, and Kaisa Benson from Mink. Welcome them all. So we have the subject today of uh, Mamma, the best startup city in the world. Everyone here agrees to that, right? Yes. Of course. Yeah. Cool. But I want to I want to start with asking uh, Joel actually, who who is one of the initiator of uh, Mamma startup. Uh, why you, why why did you like why did you feel this was a, there was a need to start Mamma startups? How did you come about? Hello. Yes. Yeah. Works. <laughs> Uh, I think uh, basically we have a few big cities around us, Stockholm and Copenhagen, that's, uh, that are a few years ahead of us when it comes to building a, a community around the startup scene. And uh, before Christmas, about a year ago, Copenhagen announced uh, Copenhagen for the win. That's a, a branding and a community around startups, and that basically triggered uh, the initiative among a few people here in Mamma, and um, that's how it started, basically. Well, what's, um, so I know you, uh, well, Mamma Startup uh, arranged Independent Day, which was an uh, initiative to bring more students into the startup world, right? Uh, yeah, basically it's, it's, it's a lot of initiatives without any organizations. It's, uh, we're trying to improve the, the scene all the way from, uh, from students up to, to to big companies that are looking for a big investment. And uh, one way is basically getting more students in the scene to, to grow the scene. So Independence Day was an event at uh, Stavlas Parken uh, a few months ago before the summer. We had uh, 200 students or 150 students from uh, Mount Hug School and LPH. Uh, and uh, yeah, a lot of good speakers on stage trying to inspire them to, to join the scene or to, to do something good. And uh, there is a Facebook group for everyone who's here. It's uh, basically Mama Startups. Yeah, exactly. Um, where you can see where everything is happening within a community. I hope everyone is uh, a member. And if you aren't, just go and join. Uh, we basically uh, approve everyone. <laughs> so what's the next step for Mama Startups? Um, yeah, we are, during the summer we try to, to create a non-profit organization to make it easier to create events like this. Uh, so it's, uh, it's Sophia and Hampus, and me, who's uh, at the moment, uh, are on the board of that uh, non-profit organization. But the plan is to, to get all the startups behind this and make it uh, like a public thing that you can elect people and it will change over time, basically. So, so the plan is to follow Copenhagen this and do it. So we're going to see a town hall meeting, like in Copenhagen? Yeah, that's correct. Right. Cool. All right. Um, Veronica. Okay. Hey. Uh, so Veronica is working uh, with uh, Scent Design, if I understand it correctly. Yeah. And uh, you're coming from New York. And uh, you arrived in Malmö a couple of months ago. You had some criteria. You you were finding a startup city in somewhere in the world, right? With some criteria. Yeah, I fled New York basically, and the way that I I think this is super indicative how I do everything. I was like, I need out of here now, like tomorrow. So I researched my complete impulse and was like, okay, what are what do I need? Better quality of life, um, some place where there are other startups because I don't like working totally alone and um, someplace that's cheaper, so I can afford to bring my company up to positive revenue. And um, narrowed it down to Lisbon, Berlin, Portugal, and Prague, and ended and up Mama. in Malmö. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
So what made you stay in London? Or and how's the how's the experience so far? Uh, startup wise. Um, so the honest answer is I've been hiding from the startup world. So this is my equivalent of like Henry David Thoreau's Walden, but it's not in a forest. But um, I think it's pretty good. If you compare it to New York, like where you've been part of the startup scene? In New York, I was very much part of the startup scene, very much part of like, the New York tech world, which is um, intense, for lack of a better word. And I like that it's less intense here. <laughs> it helps you get things done. But, um, is there anything we can learn from uh, the New York startup scene? I don't know if there's a lot to be, I mean, for sure, there's, something, there's a lot to be learned from the New York startup scene. I think every region has something that they can add to it, but I would say and I've been here maybe four and a half months with a lot of not being here in those four months. And the one thing that really strikes me about here is that, and this is, mind you, a very limited idea of what my rent in Sweden could be, is that it's quite isolated. So, you know, just, you know, you mentioned Copenhagen, which is 15 minutes away, and Stockholm, which is a four hour, four and a half hour train ride, something. Um, I just, of all places, flew to New York this weekend because I had to pick up some materials to do some work for next weekend. And, which sounds crazy, but it took me um, about, you know, maybe 11 hours door to door, which is not much further than to Stockholm and didn't really cost as much as one would think, um, $500 to be exact. So I think my takeaway is this is a small market. Sweden is a small market. Scandinavia is a small market. Um, in New York, people tend to think about conquering the world, which to them is New York City, <laughs> and maybe California, but <laughs> those are still bigger markets than I think all of Scandinavia combined. And so the, the one idea I would, you know, thing I would say is that Europe is a lot smaller and much more connected than one would think, and things are really possible, and there are places like Mink in most cities, and also really friendly people and studio. Thank you. And on the topic of Mink, why don't we um, give the microphone to Kaisa? You've been working with startups for how many years? How many? Ten. Um, ten? Eleven years? Yeah. What's your um, What's your experience? Or what? Like, how do you? Well, the scene has like bloomed. Uh, of yeah. course, it didn't look like this at all. Uh, just a few years ago, but I still I still don't think Malmo is like the number one place for startups in the world. But I think there's a really really great potential of being that because there are so many great people here, uh, and I think that that's like what's the key the key to to the success about why you are all gathering here and why you come here and it's because people here tend to work together in a way that I think are very unusual in Stockholm or in Copenhagen. People are more uh, stuck together with their own kind. Um, I think the smallness of Malmö, it's a very, it's, it's a very small city. Not a, almost not a city at all. So I think that is the benefit <laughs> to this. <laughs> that you all, you know each other and people help each other and there is an attitude of like paying forward. Everybody that has done, like been done an ex exit or you know, uh, know something, easily shares that. And I think that's very, uh, that's uh, unique for Mama. And I think it, it's been, of course, it's been exciting to watch this happen because it wasn't like this 10 years ago at all. No one, there was no startup scene at all. There were entrepreneurs, it's always been around, but not like this, not like people getting together, helping each other in communities. So what's the, um, if, you, if you can imagine like the, um, the collective response, like, the frustration of uh, startups in Malmö is there a, like is there a general thing that or a common thing that people uh, are well, it's always about? the money, isn't it? You all need money. Uh, but isn't that the case in live and breathe and do, and it's hard to kind of escape. And I think the one thing that I might find different here and lacking is that you look outside, all the bikes are gone at five, <laughs> and I think that's fantastic. But it also means that what happens after five? Do you Guys, just stop thinking about work. <laughs> there it is. And then, you know, for me at least in New York, a lot of the great ideas happen in, in moments like this where you have a, a networking session and someone early in the kitchen and there's some crazy idea and there's some problem and then someone's like, okay, well, there's this problem. Okay, well, if you were to solve it, how would you solve it? And then within 15 minutes, you've pretty much prototyped a plan. And I think that, 
and like I said, I've been a recluse, but that's kind of lacking for me here, where part of entrepreneurship and being successful is also initiative and just perseverance. I can, uh, I can fill into that. Is my mic working? Nice. But anyway, um, some, some nights here at Mink, it's like I, I leave at about midnight, and there are still people here uh, working. So it's, it's, um, maybe it's not as, as intense as in New York or Silicon Valley, but it's still there, there are people putting in hard, like hard hours. Um, <coughs> going back to what, uh, what Kaiser said about uh, the ambition, and nowadays, I think the last year we've seen a lot of startups in Malmö trying to, <coughs> to launch on the global market. So you have the uh, you know, user bin with Sebastian, so it's a good, good transition to keep in mind. And we have a few other ones that are really going for, for, for a big market. Yeah, so uh, Mike, over to Sebastian, who's, Thanks. who's been um, having a few startups here in Malmö. Uh, he started with Pop Develop, and then uh, it was Settlebox, and then after that it's now Userbin, which, if I understand it correctly, you've been in different locations working. Yeah, pretty much. We uh, Our policy is quite international, uh, so we thought that we, we must go abroad to in some sense, our product is like very San Francisco-ish or uh, California-ish. So we we spent a couple of weeks there and, and tried to promote our product. And it was very you can you can you can totally feel that it's a different uh, pace there. Absolutely. But what is the biggest difference between working there and here? I mean, um, it's bigger, of course. It's a lot more people, but it's at the same time. California and San Francisco is like the center of the internet has become, so it's hard to compete with that, of course. Uh, but uh, I think the greatest difference is the American mentality. Everybody wants to be a winner, uh, but that also has some drawbacks. People are naive sometimes. But uh, so I think um, Sweden stands for a lot of common sense and like doing good, good things. But we would benefit from getting some of the winner mentality. Definitely, we can be better at that. You just promote our ass or our other workshops. And the topic, the topic of um, like the access to the money. What, did you feel that it was uh, like easier, different, like to get in contact with VCs and so on? One big difference is that in in San Francisco, everybody has almost made an exit. So everybody's almost an investor as well. So everybody's <laughs> trying to find the next Facebook or whatever and throw money at you. And uh, I, I think it's kind of unhealthy, actually. But uh, yeah, it's definitely easier to get money there. Maybe not for international startups, but definitely for American. Mm -hmm. cool. um, I think we don't want to take too much time since it's fair time, right? Um, so I want to thank you all for bringing different perspectives on Mama Startups, and I think uh, because of your response earlier, we're going to do this again uh, sometime pretty soon. So the next one is in Lund, the next one after that is in Helsingborg, right? Yes. Yeah. And then we'll be back in uh, Malmö. More startup beer, more connections, more networking. So thank you all for the time. Thank you. Thank you.